You may know Metricool, but do you really know everything you can do with our platform? Beyond some of our fan favorite tools, there are a variety of features that can better help you plan, manage, and analyze your social media networks. But what are they? Well, to ensure that I don't miss anything, I'm doing a mega tutorial of Metricool from A to Z so you can see a full roadmap of our platform. So are you ready to become a black belt in our tool? Then let's go. <laughs> My name is Aniston and I am back with another video to talk about what's going on in the social media world. Today, I'm bringing it back to our own turf to talk about everything Metricool. Our goal is to provide you with the tools to manage your social media accounts in the same place, save you time, provide insightful data, and help you grow your business or brand's social media presence. Our motto is plan, manage, and analyze the three content pillars of social media management. So let's start with the first one, content planning. Planning is essential for every social media platform because not only will this save you time, but it eliminates that daily stress of trying to figure out what to post because you haven't scheduled it ahead of time. And you know this is true because we always don't think we need a plan, so spend hours trying to come up with content, designing a graphic, doing some research, and then three hours later, you realize that your whole morning has been wasted. But don't worry, we are here to solve that. So let's see how you can schedule content in Metricool. Oh wait, wait, I forgot an important step, which is creating your Metricool account. So if you haven't done so already, you can click on the link in the description. Metricool has a completely free platform that you can use for life. So if you wanna have your social media management with all the necessary tools in one place, make sure to create your account. Okay, now we can get to the scheduling. So to schedule content in Metricool, you're gonna to need to connect your social media profiles with Metricool. So to do this, you're gonna to go to the top right corner, the three lined icon, click on this and then find the connections tab and this will allow you to connect all your social media profiles. And what social media networks can you use with Metricool? You can connect your website or blog, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter or X, Pinterest, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitch, and Facebook, Google, and TikTok ads. Ooh, I think I remember that from the top of my head. So now that you're in the tool, go to the planning section and this will basically be your control room where you can create, edit, and delete content for the upcoming days, weeks, or months. You will also see a calendar with any scheduled posts that you already have. And you may notice that there's different colors on the calendar. So the darker colors are representing better times to post and the lighter colors are representing worst times to post. So this is known as our best times feature, which is basically the ideal time to post when more of your followers are online. This feature is available for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or X, and TikTok. To create a post, you have two options. You can either click on the create new post button or you can click into a specific time and day in the calendar and this will open up the planner. If you decide you wanna change the time or day to schedule, you can always do this once you're in the planner. So it doesn't really matter where you click on the calendar. Then once you have the planner open, you're gonna highlight all the social media networks that you wanna to post to and select the content format. So for example, if you were scheduling to Instagram, you can choose from feed posts, reels, or stories. A super trick that I love is if you're posting to multiple platforms at once, you can edit by network. So this creates a template for the post, and then you can actually tweak each one. So this is super useful because instead of creating, you know, three or four posts individually, you can have one template post and then tweak it you know, for each platform. So for example, if you're posting to LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter or X, 
You could add in a link to the LinkedIn post. You could add in hashtags to the Instagram post and you could maybe shorten the text in the Twitter. Then write the copy of the text, add an image or multiple images or a video. On the right side, you will have a preview option so you can see how this post will look when it's going out. And also for Instagram, you can see how it will look in your feed. Then once you have the base of your post, it's time to add the final touches. And let's take a minute here because the options in Metricool are almost endless. In this line of icons, you have the following options to add to your posts. You can click on this icon to access and add any emojis. You also have a library of royalty-free images, videos, and GIFs in case you're lacking any content. By clicking on the three dots of your multimedia file, you can edit this if you need to crop it, change the aspect ratio or any last minute changes. You can tag any product from your store on Instagram. And of course you can tag other users by clicking here. You can also add up to three collaborators for your Instagram posts by adding their username here. You can also add the location of your post and we recommend this if you have a physical store or building. And if you want to add any hashtags, you can actually generate popular hashtags for Instagram and TikTok with the hashtag generator. Are there still more? Yes, there actually is. You can schedule the first comment of your post. So this could be useful for adding another comment to maybe provoke a conversation with your followers or to add a list of hashtags. And with this icon, you can add a UTM to any links. So if you wanna use this to track better with say Google Analytics. And if you click on the robot icon, you will open up our AI text generator. So you can enter in a prompt and this will generate five new ideas. So boom, there you have five new caption ideas, content ideas, headlines, etc. And if you want to learn how to create better prompts with AI and get the most out of AI tools, make sure to watch this video. Now, all I have left to talk about with the planner are two tools that I think will make your life a lot easier when it comes to planning in Metrical. The first is notes, which are small comments that you can almost tack on to post. And these are if you want to make any last minute changes or are missing a link or want to notify your teammate or client um, about an important update. Notes are super useful for this type of stuff. And lastly, the save text feature. This is useful if you have common phrases or even common hashtags that you use. You can pull from this bank of save text and it automatically will add it into the text. Now your post is ready, so all you need to do is select the time and day that you want it to be posted and click schedule or publish now if you want the post to go out immediately. The second part of this metrical mega tutorial is analytics. What can we say? We love metrics and we aren't called metrical by chance. Within this platform, you have all of the data you need to see how your content and strategy is performing. Click on the analytics tab in the top menu and here you have your full analytics dashboard. And on the left hand side, you will see all of the social media networks that you have connected with Metricool as well as your website or blog. And when you click on a specific network, the top will show which metrics are offered. So each platform differs. For example, on Instagram, you'll be able to see your metrics for reels and stories. And on YouTube, for example, you'll be able to see analytics for the published videos you have in that time period. And in the top right corner, you will see a time frame so you can choose which period you wanna analyze. Within each section, you have data about your content. Here, you can view all the different metrics. You can also sort by which metrics you want to appear first, so impressions, reach, engagement. And you can also check or uncheck this box to select what you wanna appear in the graphs. You can even download the data by section if you want to. And I have saved my personal favorite feature in analytics last, 
which is automatic reporting. Metrical reports are a premium feature, but they save you a ton of time and headaches when it comes to data collection and monthly social media reports. Because from here, you can create them in literally seconds. You can select the time period and the languages that you want to appear in the report. You also have the option to create a template that you can use again in a future report. And if you don't select a template, you can create one from scratch. So you can select which social media networks you want to appear on this, which information, metrics, you can choose how you want to sort the metrics, even add in a logo, change the colors. It's really customizable to fit your brand or your client's brand. Then you can download it as a PowerPoint or PDF. And I almost forgot because I know we all love automation. In this last box, you can automate your report to send it to the email addresses you want on the day you want. Also, you can leave a message inside if you want. So if you work with multiple clients, this will be super helpful to tell them, hey, your monthly social media report is ready and it will all be automated for you. We made it to a key part of social media interactions. Interactions are at the base of every social media network and receiving an interaction is just as important as responding back to it because clients or customers or followers don't want to feel that they've been ghosted or left on red. So for this, the inbox will be your best friend for managing all your social media messages and comments in the same place. A quick review, inside the inbox, you have connection to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter or X, TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Google Business Profile. Wow, I remembered that off the top of my head. And of course, each one has its own quirks. So for example, you can see comments on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. You can also see private messages for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter or X. And you can also see your Google business profile reviews. You can either view them all together or you can view specific ones by clicking on their icons. Only those messages from the networks that have highlighted icons will appear. And if you want to switch from messages to comments, use this filter button. You can mark messages and comments as unread if you want a, another team member to answer them or if you wanna come back to them later yourself. You can also leave notes here like you can in the planner for yourself or for another team member. And you can use this folder to save your replies. So if you have common replies, you can save time by saving the text here. And once you have finished replying to a conversation, you can click on the resolved button and move on to the next one. Well, at this point, you have tackled three of your daily social media activities from the same place. But did I forget something? Right, ads. Ads are a key tool to giving your content that extra push. And in Metrical, you can manage, measure, and create your own campaigns. Click on the ads option in the top menu, and here you will see all your active campaigns for Facebook and Google ads. You will also see the metrics at a glance, so your total in daily budget, impressions, conversions, etc. And if you click on this button, you can create ads for Facebook, Instagram, and Google without leaving Metrical. And if you still don't think that's enough, I've kept a little ace up my sleeve for you. From the Instagram analytics section, you have the option to boost a post. Right here in the list of posts, underneath the post that you wanna boost, you will see a little boost post option and boom, you have a promoted post. This is a way to give your post a little extra push without having to go through the whole mess and ordeal of creating an ad. You can either use this to give a boost to a post that might not have done so well, or on the opposite for a post that is doing really well and you want to reach new audiences. Well, Metric Cooler, we've already done a huge, huge review of the tool, but I've kept a few little secrets for the end, which I'm sure some of the Metric Cool fans will already know. First of all, a top feature for social media platforms such as Instagram and X that only allow you to have one link in your bio, we have our very own Metricool Smart Links. Here, you can create your own page of buttons and images 
that you can attach links to to drive traffic to different landing pages. So you could use this to drive traffic to your website, a new YouTube video, a new blog, an event coming up. The opportunities are really endless. Plus for Instagram, you have an option to add a link to each of your posts. And this is huge because Instagram doesn't allow you to add links to posts. Another trick that I hope you will love is when you go to schedule out a post, you can click on add to the smart links. So when your post is published, then the link will automatically be added to your smart links page. Let's finish with another one of my favorites here at Metricool, auto lists, which will have you never running out of content. You can do this in two ways. The first is creating a batch of posts that go out on a reoccurring schedule. For example, add 30 posts that will go out every Tuesday at 10 a.m. and boom, you already have 30 weeks of content. Not only that, but you can make the list infinite by toggling on the repeat option so that this will cycle through content over and over again. This is super useful for posting evergreen content, but make sure to edit this in review so none of your posts are out of date when they go live. The second option is to connect your blog, YouTube channel, or podcast with an RSS feed. With this option, every time you upload content, the post will be automatically scheduled with a link and the text that you add. So for example, new video on my channel. Oof, magic cooler, what a video. I hope that this helped you and understand Metricool from A to Z. And if you made it this far and haven't created your account yet, make sure to click on the link in the description below. I hope I didn't miss anything and I hope that this helps you become a Metricool pro in no time. Of course, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more news and advice about social media and marketing. Until the next time, Metro Cooler. Bye. Bye.